Uh, hi, namaste all, myself Sai Satish, CEO of Indian Servers. So my today's session is on cyber security. How to secure our cyber assets? That's the topic we are going to discuss. Yes, IT plus IT equal to IT. Once Narendra Modi ji said like this, IT plus IT equal to IT, which means information technology plus Indian talent equal to India's tomorrow. At the same time, I told another point, CS plus CS equal to CS, which means cyber sense plus common sense equal to cyber security. If we don't have common sense, if we don't have cyber sense, cyber security we cannot achieve. To achieve cyber security, we must have both cyber sense as well as common sense. Some people don't have common sense, they'll keep on sharing all the nonsense in WhatsApp group. Send this message to 10 people, you'll get something. Uh, 100 rupees for you, 100 rupees for me. Install this application. Refer this application to 20 people, you'll get uh, some laptop or iPhone. Some people will come, they'll share a link. If you click on that link, a spinner will come. If you spin that, it'll show try again. If you try again, you'll get iPhone. How to get iPhone? You have to send the same link to 10 more people. How many of you have such type of legends in your WhatsApp group? Raise your hands. Oh, almost all of you are having such type of legends in your group. The moment we believe such type of nonsense, we will be hacked. In today's session, I'm going to show how to protect your mobile phones, how to protect your systems also, along with some tips for parents and teachers. Do you know what's the third largest economy in the world? Any guess? The third largest economy in the world. Economy in the world. Any guess? Let me tell you, if you place all the cyber criminals in one country, then that particular country is the third largest economy in the world. Those many N number of cyber crimes are happening. So how to protect? Every second, every second, more than 100 attacks are happening. Every second, there are many, there are more than 100 attacks are happening. Just search with the word called cyber threat map. Cyber threat map. If you search with that, there are n number of websites which are recording, like Kaspersky company, FireEye, they are giving the statistics from where to where these all kind of attacks are happening. Every second, hundreds to thousands of attacks are happening. One website is registering, uh, saying that around 15 lakh attacks per day, 15 lakh cyber attacks per day. That could be simple malware attack, that could be some exploit, it could be anything, got it? Some cyber attacks are happening every second. So how to protect from such type of attacks? It's very, very important to protect our cyber data and our cyber resources from cyber criminals. Today, two years kid know how to use smartphone. Once upon a time, very long back, moms used to show a moon to feed the kid. But today, they are showing smartphone. They don't know how to speak, but they know how to change uh, different kind of uh, um, channels or videos in YouTube. You no need to train the kids how to use mobile, but you, we have to train on security because security is not common sense for everyone. So we have to train them on security. So I'm going to share a couple of tips to you. If you wish to secure your Instagram, WhatsApp, as well as your uh, social media accounts, these are the tips for you. First point, two-factor authentication, mandatory. Second point, for different websites, you have to use multiple passwords. For example, uh, some people are there, those who use the same password for their Gmail, for their Instagram, and for their other accounts also. Hardly they may use three unique passwords. If somebody captures your password through a keylogger or some phishing or a Trojan, he can log into other accounts also. That's why implement the first step, which is two-factor authentication for all your social media accounts as well as for Gmail, uh, as well as for other confidential websites. Two-factor authentication, important, or multi-factor authentication. Point number two, multiple passwords. Categorize your passwords into three categories. Financial password, confidential password, useless password. It's a category of the passwords. It's a category of the passwords. Financial, confidential, useless, based upon uh, that particular category of the site, set such type of password. And 
some of the options are there anyways if you check the recovery options also recovery options are also very very important emotions overwrite your logic at that particular point of time that particular person may be everything for you we may use his number or her number in recovery options after some time there may be a chance of breakup right so after breakup what's the immediate action do you know they'll start hacking your email accounts they'll start exposing some sort of nonsense which you already stored in your drive very very important there is no undo button in internet there is no undo button once your content is uploaded to some random website it is gone dmca is a, is there dmca but still we cannot protect your cyber assets if it if it gets leaked most of your emails might have already leaked your most of your passwords might have already leaked do you want to check just go to a website called have i been found have i been found if you check there maybe your already your data uh, your password might have breached every day some millions of records are getting exposed data breaches are happening it doesn't matter whether they have gdpr or california privacy act upcoming dpa still data breaches are happening every day millions of records are getting exposed your password might be already breached there is another website called ghost project not only your hashed password your plain text password also will be in hackers database what you have to do you have to follow these steps to secure your email accounts okay second point you have to know some sort of fake e-commerce websites will be there fake e-commerce websites where they will offer a very quality product for very less price the moment you believe that particular nonsense your credit card or debit card number or your uh, something financial data can be exposed if you believe and enter your financial data in the such type of websites don't believe all kind of ads which will be shown in even in youtube also don't believe all kind of e-commerce websites most of them intentionally create and steal your confidential data flipkart okay snapdeal okay amazon okay but everything whatever you see in advertisement we cannot believe and we cannot enter our financial data in those websites even fake websites also do have https just by having just by seeing https we cannot say it is completely uh, trustworthy website https websites also it can be a fake website so don't just blindly believe https fraudsters can make, uh, make look alike domains look alike domain means most of you are using ascii domains most of you are typing google.com youtube.com right but if you check there is a possibility of creating domains with unique code unique code there are plenty of similar letters are there which look alike somebody may create a website which exactly looks like amazon.com because just search with the word called unique code confusables there you can find the letters which exactly looks like a r b or unique code will be different but it looks like a only okay next tips for parents and after this covid most of the students are around there is a, according to one survey it seems 63 percentage of their learning is happening through youtube in metropolitan cities for students 63 percentage is just not just from the four walls of the school or college they are learning from 63 percentage of the learning from youtube that means if you uh, college means it's okay but if you are giving your mobile to a kid we have to apply something like parental control softwares point number 2 in youtube if you are giving your mobile to your uh, anger brothers who are less than 18 years or 15 years you know what kind of related videos you are going to watch right so in youtube you have to enable few settings if you enable those settings such type of nonsense videos will not be displayed in google search also you have to enable one particular setting that setting is called google search safe search in settings you can find filter explicit search in google settings you can find that particular option called safe search the same thing is available for youtube also called restricted mode if you enable restricted mode 
somewhat such type of nonsense pop-ups will not be displayed. Parental control in Google Family app. There is an app called Google Family app. Enabling location sharing, these are also you can make it, make use of it. Now coming to our actual topic, endpoint security, especially mobile phones. If you concentrate for next coming three to five minutes, nobody can hack your mobile phone. Got it? Point number one. Most of the spy applications and exploits are the reason to hack into someone's mobile. Most of the hackers use two techniques to get into someone's mobile. One is using spy application, the other one is using exploits. Everything is in a distance of a search these days. Even a 10 years kid, he can open Google, he can search with the word spy applications, he can install in someone's mobile. The moment you give your mobile to someone, they may install a spy application. From that second onwards, they can control your mobile phone. Point number two, somebody may send a link to you. If you open that link, if your browser is vulnerable, again your mobile will be in the hands of that particular hacker. Point number three, somebody may send some sort of applications like mod APKs or kind of modified new applications where you no need to pay. The moment you install that application, it's enough. Your mobile will be in the hands of the hacker. So we should not install such type of things. Endpoint security for mobile phones. Don't install all kind of nonsense applications at the first point. Point number two, have a good antivirus. Don't trust all kind of antiviruses just because of ads. If you open some sort of random websites, it will show some nonsense ad. Your mobile got scanned, you have n number of viruses, please download this APK and protect yourself. Don't trust that. That could be a fake antivirus. If you want to download any kind of antiviruses, download from official website or from Play Store, not from the third party websites. Point number two, which is best antivirus? I don't recommend here any kind of antivirus, but you can compare various antiviruses performance in a website called avcomparatives.org. av, antivirus, hyphen comparatives.org. Just check the comparison of various antiviruses. At that time, whatever the best one, you can choose it. But it's important to have an antivirus for your mobile phone also. Keep checking list of applications in your mobile phone uninstall them if you have not installed. And here are the, some crucial permissions are there. These are the permissions. If you give your mobile to someone, if somebody installs a spy application, they can do live streaming of your mobile phone. Got it? Stop believing such type of applications. Especially, these are the permissions you should not grant. Camera permission, call logs, contacts, location, SMS. SMS permission, Today, banks identify us based upon our mobile number, right? And a kind of OTP. If you grant SMS permission, obviously those applications can steal that OTP as well as it can send on behalf of you, it can activate your UPI at some other location. Next, for endpoint security. For your Windows operating system, in cyber security, two heroes are there. One hero name is Antivirus, other hero name is firewall. Install both the things. Some antiviruses will be shipped with both the options. So make sure it covers firewall also. Firewall is also very, very important. Don't add any kind of extensions to your browser because those extensions and can also log whole your activity. For example, if you're trying to download some PDF file, some websites will force you to install some add-ons. If you don't install that add-on, it won't allow us to download that PDF file. The moment you add that add-on, from the next second onwards, whatever you're doing in your computer will be recorded by that particular add-on. So, no extensions to your browser, very, very dangerous. Some websites will confuse us with multiple download buttons. We don't know which download button is real, we'll click on all random download buttons. Some malware will be installed and it starts encrypting your hard disk. Or, and it starts spreading to whole network ransomware attacks. So you should not uh, just install all kind of applications just by downloading from the third party website. You should be very careful. If your browser behaving like this, just follow this one. That means it'll show you a link, but if you click on it, another link will be opened. 
It will show unnecessary uh, adult ads, unnecessary pop-ups will be displayed. So if your browser is behaving like that, you have to follow this one to fix that issue. Cyber security, as I told you, antivirus plus firewall, both heroes are very, very important for you. Create a cyber security policy. Cyber security policy. If you are working at some company, make sure you don't give administrator privileges for all the users. Even if he is your boss or if she is your boss, don't give administrator privileges or higher privileges. We don't know what kind of nonsense file they are going to download. So you should be very careful. Regular VAPT on your cyber assets. VAPT means vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Regular VAPT is very, very important so that before a hacker hacks into your cyber resource, uh, get into your cyber resource. If you check the possibilities, how a hacker can get into your computer, then you can fix it, you can patch it. So VAPT and patching such type of things are very, very important. BitLocker, if somebody steals your laptop, then they can access all your data, right? You may be storing a lot of confidential data on your laptop. If somebody steals your laptop, there are plenty of softwares out there which can bypass your password in few seconds. I did for more than 4,000 laptops in last 10 years. Within few seconds, we can bypass the passwords. Whatever the password you set, capital letters, small letters, numbers, symbols, more than 20 characters also you set, I can bypass in few seconds. Got it? At the time, how to protect? Enable BitLocker. If you enable BitLocker, even supercomputer also cannot break your password easily. They cannot decrypt your data easily. If you have any confidential data in your laptops, make sure to enable BitLocker so that uh, it will be protected to very good extent. Create an incident and recovery plan. What happens if all your data got encrypted with some ransomware? What you have to do? What is your recovery plan? What is your recovery plan? How to protect? Very, very important. Backup plans, online backup, offline backup, online backup with hash, multiple, bus, uh, multiple backups, cloud backup. Such type of policies you have to maintain and incident response and recovery plan also you have to maintain. And this is a score list. Just check how many points do you get. Okay, this is for individuals. This is for companies. Few more points are there. We just listed only few here. Few more points are there. So if it is related to company, just check your score also, okay? Thank you, thank you very much.